Centrifugal control made easier. More about the new HMI from BMA in this webinar. Hi everybody and welcome in another BMA webinar. My name is Jose Garrido and I am a product manager for the centrifugals in BMA and today I will be your host. Centrifugal control made easier is the theme, of, uh, the, uh, the theme for today. For that is my colleague and even better friend Eduardo Lima uh, ready. Hi Eduardo. Hi Jose. Eduardo Lima is the chief of uh, the engineering and automation department for the centrifugals here in BMA. And as I told you, he has uh, prepared some information for us. Eduardo, amigo, your turn. Thank you. So today we will discuss about how we can make uh, centrifuges of BMA a little more efficient. And when someone asks me how we can do it, one answer I will give is definitely uh, by making the operation easier. And exactly how we can do it is how what I will explain. But definitely the solution you deserve is our new centrifugal control software. So, and today we have, as everyone knows, BMA two types of centrifuges. In the last webinar, Jose already presented us the new presentation of uh, the county centrifuges with the facelift, and he already showed us some parts of the software. So today I will focus a little more on the batch centrifuges. And to start, we will talk about what, which topics we will discuss today. It's exactly what's the definition of HMI. We will also show our different concepts through the last years. And we will also talk about how we are developing a good control system. And also what is the main functions of the HMI in the batch centrifuges. And we will show a live demo. Yeah, we prepared a simulation where we can go a little deep in the control software and can show a little more information to you. And after that, as Jose already told, we will have an open question and answer session. And to start is what exactly is an HMI? So the HMI is a combination of software and hardware. So it's not only one, it's not uh, only software, it's not only hardware, but what we are doing together. The meaning of HMI is human machine interface. So it's exactly how one operator can interact with one centrifuge. With this, you could saw uh, what happened in the last 100 years of centrifuges and how was the operation of them. So, but I will focus a little more on what we call exactly HMI. So I will not discuss how we turn on the valves in, in the last 50 years, but how everything started together with electric. And in 81, we had our first concept for the G series centrifuges. And that was a really hardware. Yeah, it's everything uh, analogic, no digital. We have some indications through lights and buttons. And 15 years later, we have uh, our HMIs developed now for the B series. And with this, we had the first concepts. Uh, so we wanted to show the same, the same information we had in the old HMI from G series. And so we have this concept. Later on 2012, with the first E series, we used the basic of the B series and added some more functions. But in 2016, we started developing what we call the third series, and we make a big change in the HMI. There wasn't some changes not only in colors but functions, 
and also how we could interact with the machine. And I will go a little deeper in this uh, software today to show you exactly what our software can do and what we change it. But the question and the most important question is how we come from the 81 the solution to the new solution. So this was possible, CLA, of course, to, to, our, uh, to our development. And here I'm showing the, for the E1810. So we have a touch interface. So this panel is a touch screen. And today we are using a 12 inches display. So, and everything started with one developer. Yeah, so the, 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 the software developer or software engineers, they have the function to program a new HMI. And of course, he has some insights. So he knows he needs to put all information inside the screen. And he knows also, of course, this screen is a touch panel. But everything else, he is not really sure how to put this. And to have all the development hanging by one person, it's not the best efficient solution. So our software engineers, they also need the insights and inputs of more persons. And we started searching these inputs by other uh, workers or other employees by BMA. So we have help of our uh, design and we are marketing. So they suggested us to start changing some colors. And of course, our technical engineers or mechanical engineers is informing us, OK, we still have to follow some rules. We still have to follow some norms so we cannot change everything like uh, like an artist is doing. And then we are also asking what is the new in the industry? So what kind of icons we can use? What what kind of buttons can we use? And with this, we are also asking our suppliers what new solutions they have for us. Also, we want to increase the technology inside the machine. So starting also putting some possibilities to have the information online. And of course, everything is always focused to achieve a little more production to also make the operation for every operator much more easier. So they can uh, produce, so they can, machines can produce more time. Of course, we still have some customers coming to us and saying, hey, I would like to change to make some small additions. And of course, this is possible. At the end, we are also making every commissioning small changes to make our customers uh, happy. So one, so one efficient HMI, it's not possible to achieve only by one person, one software programmer. To make this, we need a lot of persons, a lot of customers in a lot of different areas, not only software engineering, not only mechanical engineering, but also design, sales, and we also need our customers and our technicians to inform us what are the desires and what should be added here. So, but before finishing, I will go now uh, live on our HMI. So, we are online now, I believe, already. So here we can see our main page. Uh, and for us, it was really important to make all the information available in the main page. So the first here, we have some buttons here that is possible to select. And for if I want to start the machines, I need to start selecting the options here. And every time one option is selected, the, can, the operator can clear see it and then we could start the centrifuge. And so here are all the options and all the functions for manual and automatic start of the centrifuge. Of course, we also have here some indications of speed, motor current, vibration, and the opening of the butterfly valve, which I can be also set manually. And by also pushing the button, it goes automatically up. So we also have here an overview of the centrifugal cycle where we can see the stage of the of the centrifuge. Because I don't have a machine here, we cannot really see a lot of that as live. Yeah, but here we'll be also showing the how much charges per hour we are doing with washing cycle and with off washing cycle. And here at the right side, it's really important. Uh, it's a 
big overview of all the centrifuge and all the sensors. So if one sensor is stop working or if we have an alarm of vibration, we will have here the sensors blinking red. Uh, also, what we have here is uh, some buttons. And what exactly are these buttons doing? If the operator is completely lost, yeah, how, how, which button he can press? And we have here a, first uh, a page for help. And here we can go from uh, a whole overview of the of every page that we have inside the software. And going here, we can see every symbol what they mean. Yeah, and by this, can the operator live live and check exactly which button he can press? He doesn't need a manual at his side. <clears throat> and going back here to the main page. Of course, it's everything we can select different languages. So here it's set. German, English, and also uh, Portuguese from Brazil. And for example, if I want to change to German, I just need to press in the flag. So and here we also have a special part that's for the DINFAS FS. This is one of our main sensors for the uh, calibration of the, uh, of the sugar layer thickness. And here we have a small overview, a small push button also explaining exactly what are the switch point and the uh, layer thickness set point. And here was always uh, difficult in the last versions of the software. Some customers that didn't, didn't know exactly the meaning, but here we added some more pictures and some more functions so he can know exactly what he's changing. And we still have here above some more informations. So here we can control every parameter, every time of the centrifuge. So we have the technological times and here also the, the duration of the wash water and some more information. So here can see the customer can see every time which time is affecting which component. So we could also go to the, uh, the speed uh, settings. And here we can see a fast overview of all, every speed necessary for the cycle of the batch centrifuge. We also have a small page here for the for the graphs and the trends. Of course, here because I'm not 100% uh, live with a machine, uh, it's not possible to show. It's a small alarm that I'm using too much variables, but we made it fastly done. And one really important page is also here the alarms and the alarms we have two overviews. The first overview is only the active alarms and the second overview would be every uh, alarm that the machine already showed. So the history. Yeah. And here we have some actives because again, I'm not online. So now I'm going here to the main menu. And here it's already possible to select one of small options. And for example, I can go here now to the BMA functions. And here also what we changed from the last versions of our software, we started using these slide buttons yeah, that it was not possible to make them before in the old versions, but we discussed it with our supplier of the, the panels and we developed it with them together a solution that we could make similar to what every smartphone has. So this is also really important for us to make our HMI as simple as every smartphone. Every customer has a smartphone, every operator knows how to use it, and they should also see our HMI as simple as these smartphones. So here we can select here uh, the options we would like to, for example, and also uh, here for the DCS, so the, the communication with the uh, life system from the customer with the supervisory system. We can send all the parameters. We can select which parameters the customer would like to have in his supervisory system. So what is also possible to make? It's we have a user administration page here. So we have different logins level, one for operators, also normally one for engineers. And uh, we have also BMA has normally one login for service. So we can also set more uh, user levels if the customer would like to. So 
now I'm going also to the here to we can also set some recipes. This is also really important. We can save every actual parameters, the current parameters from this machine in a recipe and uh, the customer can use this for different products and he can change really easily all the configurations, all the parameters that we have with two or three buttons by creating these recipes. So this makes it really easy for machines, for swing machines that have different products. We go again here. Yeah. And by the end, I would like also to show a little of the DFAS. So by the DINFAS was also before, like I said, we had here more than 20 parameters to control everything. And this was sometimes complicated also for our technicians. And we decided to redesign this configuration. And now everything can be done by just selecting if you want a quick control behavior, a normal control behavior or a smooth control behavior. And with this, uh, we can select uh, the whole the whole parameterization of the DINFAS with just these three buttons. And this makes really everything much more easier and makes our machine much, much more efficient. So, and with this, I hope you have ever enjoyed our presentation. And if you have any questions, please write now to us that we can answer. Okay, Eduardo, thank you. Thank you so much for another amazing webinar and giving us a brief introduction of our new control software with sophisticated fun functions like the DINFAS, but uh, very easy and intuitive to, to use. Really amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I have a couple of questions uh, from our, our people online and let me read it uh, for, for you. Yep. In which centrifuges are the new HMIs available? So the new HMIs are available, of course, in the new E centrifuges. These ones exactly in the new E centrifuges and the counties that have a similar concept in the, in the new county centrifuges. So every machine that is now supplied by BMA, they already are using the new software. Okay, thank you. Uh, are the HMI designs dependent of any hardware supplier? So, of course, we have normally two main suppliers or three main suppliers. And of course, we have some small deviations between these suppliers. But uh, our focus was to make all the HMIs uh, as most as similar as possible. And we are happy to say that we could achieve this with a really high level. The next question is pretty interesting. Uh, can I have the new HMIs in all centrifuges? So it's everything depending on the hardware that these machines have. Normally to have the new HMIs because they are also already linked to the new PLCs. So normally we need to have a new PLCs and to make this the best is to have uh, a complete retrofit from BMA. Okay. So this would be a project for a retrofit, but this is definitely possible to have this also for old B and G centrifuges. Understood. The next question would be, uh, what would it cost? So to have a quotation from us, so please talk to Jose. He's our sales guy and he will definitely send a suitable quotation for you. OK, understood. Very good. And last question for today, Eduardo. Will BMA develop similar HMI concepts for all equipments? So we are planning exactly uh, to use this concept and not only more for centrifuges, but for every BMA equipment. And we are already implementing uh, some different machines and we will definitely have this concept and this development concept to not only have one developer, but to have a lot of persons interacting together to develop the best solution for the customer, also available for all BMA machines in the future. Thank you. Very good. Uh, I have a new question and it is, uh, it is, is it possible to receive charge or discharge interlock signal from customer DCS system in our control system? Yes, it's possible. Definitely. We can send the signal to the DCS and use it. Yes, it's possible. Okay. Uh, that was the very last question for today. Eduardo, thank you, thank you so much for your time and your effort. Very good uh, work to say to the, to the guys in your department 
And thank you, everybody. We hope you enjoyed uh, this webinar for today, and we hope you, we, we see each other very soon in another webinar for BMA. Goodbye.